Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of Startups and Downs. Today I'm going to be talking to you about patience and the two most important things on my phone. So look, for those of you who've been following me for the last two years, it might look like I've been getting a lot of work done, especially on Instagram and things like that. And I definitely have, but I could have been a lot more productive. There's definitely days that were gone by and it was just like a groundhog day of getting nothing done. But you're not getting a break because the business is still weighing on your mind and you're just not getting that breathing room. You just wake up day after day put in what feels like a lot of work but you're just not getting that output just because you're getting so many distractions and um, we live in such a digital age where your phone is buzzing 24 7 and i'm going to show you today the two things that i do on a day-to-day -day basis that just make me at probably seven or eight times as productive as i was last year so look guys it's not rocket science and that's probably the best thing about this tip this button here the do not disturb button is literally the best thing on your phone Hit this guy and no one's going to bother you for hours on end. Literally hit this thing. Honestly, you're not going to be picking up your phone as much. And when you do, you realize how much of an idiot you are for just going on Instagram and wasting 20 minutes of your life. So great, you smashed on that do not disturb button. What do you do next? Chances are you're one of the uh, like 80% of people who wakes up at a normal time, goes to bed at a normal time. Um, 9 a.m. to like 12 a.m. If you look at your circadian rhythm, basically your natural body clock. If you were to plonk yourself on an island and have no commitments or anything like that, just think about what time you'd probably wake up at. And you'll realize if you're a morning person, a like kind of normal wake up time person or a night owl. Personally, I'm probably a bit of a night owl myself. If I wake up at like nine o'clock, that's kind of good for me. Get going at like 10. Um, that's my own personal body's rhythm. And you're more likely to find me doing work at 2 a.m. Than, than 2 p.m. Um, that's just me. Basically, if you look at your own body's rhythm, try and match your actual workload to that. So right when you're up in the morning first, you're probably at your most alert. You've got that kind of like morning surge on. Get into the tough to do tasks, whether it's like something like legal stuff or sending out proposals, stuff that requires attention to detail and obviously quite a good work ethic as well. Uh, don't leave really boring work till that time. That's actually when you kind of get that slump in the day, maybe after lunchtime. Try and save that real boring, monotonous work, whether it's like scheduling posts uh, for social media, like updating your taxes, that type of stuff. You know, maybe looking at, at your uh, accounts and, and doing some kind of uh, year-end stuff. That's the kind of thing that I do during that time uh, where it's kind of monotonous, it's repetitive. Like checking 3D products for, for me will be one of the things that I do during that time, that kind of QA phase. Um, it's kind of lightweight in the brain. It's just a lot of clicking and you can kind of get through things pretty quick. And then throughout the end of the day, you kind of have that revitalized nature and you can kind of get creative. And that's generally where I might do some work on Photoshop, something like this. Uh, it's evening time here, so that's kind of where I'm saving this part of my, of my work day. And so guys, one amazing app that I actually found at Web Summit last year was this app here called Endel. Uh, it's developed by a, a guy in Germany, I think, and even uh, Major Laser have partnered with it. This is algorithmically generated music, so it'll look at that circadian rhythm, your heart rate, your calendar, your current activity, all of those can be used as inputs, obviously optionally as well, if you don't want to uh, share some of that data, you don't have to. Um, and there, to be honest, it's, it's an amazing app. Uh, I can really like, say it can double your productivity for a few dollars a month, and I, I definitely don't, uh, don't kid around with that. So you've got a few channels at the bottom here. It's uh, about focusing. You can even put into a relaxation channel where it kind of changes that uh, uh, kind of music for you slightly. You've got lovely animations here where you can tap around the screen. Um, and it's got a go mode and a sleep mode as well. So you can use it kind of through all parts of your day and to achieve different goals, basically. Most of the time, I chuck it into the focus mode, pop it right onto my Alexa over there, and within 15 minutes, I am absolutely smashing through work. So. Absolutely recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, so go check out Endo for sure. And last guys, just I'd I'd love to get everyone in the comments here below. Try and hook up with an an account, what I kind of like to call it an accountability partner. Basically, someone you can check in week on week, give progress updates. Uh, literally a fifteen minute call that you can have with someone to say what's your goals for this week, what are your obstacles coming up, how you're going to go about that, and just. Just that weekly check-in to, to hold yourself and hold the other person accountable. 
And shout out guys to those 100 people. Absolutely, thank you so much for subscribing. It's just been massively uh, appreciated to be able to hit three digits so quickly. Um, really appreciate it and hope you guys are in for the long haul here. If you have any uh, comments, suggestions, feedback, everything like that, absolutely uh, throw it in the comments below. Eager to hear.